thank you. So um, five minutes, this is more of like a tool talk. It's when those that are in DFIR know how long it takes to get visibility and how much Velocirate Velociraptor actually helps to speed up this process. But then once you have the data at your fingertips, you still want to use it, analyze it, crunch it, mobilize it. And that's where the data pipelines come into play. And so from, from a pipeline perspective, what we've built is an integration into an open source tool that is a pipeline processing engine and Velociraptor is a source. And um, this is kind of a quick walkthrough how you kind of can leverage the nice APIs of Velociraptor to accelerate this. So this, this pipeline that I just showed you um, is, is part of our open source project, BSD3 style, um, three clause license called Tensier, and it's, it's a basically data flow processing engine. You have sources, zero more transformations in the middle, and then a sync. And one example, for example, is here, where you read from a file, some parse some data, do some crunching, get the top responder destinations, and write the output to CSV. Another, and here we have the source transformations. And since it's invoked on the command line, there's a sync is implicit. So it's basically stood out in JSON by default. You can override that. Another example, this is, this, this is also a pipeline example, where you load some uh, remote file via HTTP, decompress it via Z standard, parse it. In this case, it's a Eve JSON Suricata file. Um, filter out the alerts and send that to a Kafka topic. And so, how did we integrate Velociraptor into this? Well, Velociraptor has this beautiful API that is based on gRPC, which is a battle-tested um, remote procedure call interface. So, uh, we can use any language to connect to the Velociraptor server and uh, fetch results. And Velociraptor comes with its own language called VQL, uh, Velociraptor query language, it's very similar to SQL. And um, yeah, we basically wrote a source in here so that we can do things like this. Um, simply use a source called Velociraptor, run the query, get the response back, and start processing it. And so this one gives us all enrolled hosts, for example. And um, maybe I can get this a bit larger. Um, here's here's how you would run this on the command line. So it's it makes it very easy to to work with the data. And maybe I can do a few more examples where uh, ad hoc we'll see. Here, I'm just selecting some of the data. I'm processing, crunching it. So I could basically now, as you can see, I have the data at my fingertips. I can do whatever I want. I can import it, write it into a parquet file, pick it up with other tools. So this is basically an idea how to um, modif quickly yeah, mobilize the data during an incident and um, make it available to a bunch of other tools. Thanks, for Christoph, for helping me out with this, um, with the VQL and the guidance on, on some of the use cases there. There's a blog post coming out about this integration tomorrow as well. Thank you.